Welcome to Drawfee, where we take dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Nathan. <laughs> I'm Carolyn. I'm Jacob. And I'm Julia. Wow, friend of the show, Carolyn is back. Yeah. Welcome back. Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm honestly honored to be here. I'm clapping. Wow. Carolyn, every time Woo. you're on the show, I would say it's a magical experience. Oh. Nice. Oh my. Do you get God. it? I do get it because I am a wizard and I'm dressed in a top hat like a magician. Oh, that wizard kind of wizard. and a magician. <laughs> yeah, you're both. <laughs> it's a rare crossover, but uh, that's that's who I am. Carolyn, what are you? What are we doing today? What <laughs> okay, do you want friends, from us? I got a big problem, and oh. I knew there was only one place to turn. The Drawfee crew, you got to help me. Oh, we're here to help, Carolyn. Don't worry. Magic the Gathering. It's my favorite Love game. It. Uh -huh. It's full of horrible monsters. Yeah. And my biggest problem is they're not hot enough. Oh. Mm. Yeah. So that, I need yeah. your help to take the most horrible monsters from Magic the Gathering and draw them hot. I, I mean, love this. We exist for this purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. We can definitely do that. Sorry to the Karina fans out there. She's not here to help us this time, but we're going to do her proud. She's outside trying to break into the apartment. <laughs> she's going, let me in. Let me draw the hot monsters, she screams. No, no. this is our time, Karina. We're going to yeah. do it this time. We can draw hot stuff too. Carolyn, I'm ready. Please commander me of what to draw. That was a, that was a magic reference. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Please commander me a seamless, <laughs> flawless magic reference. <laughs> this first monster is yeah. a classic, horrible monster. It's got a okay. big mouth. It's got okay. two big arms. Uh -huh. uh, me. And it's it's Julia. It's the Tarmogoyf. <laughs> it's, it's, he's got a lot of teeth. He's got a lot of teeth. Now, the creature's name is Tarmogoyf, but the type of creature is actually Lurgoyf. What oh. the hell are they doing over there at Magic? They're just making shit up. That sounds like a early two thousands meme when they everyone was just putting le in front of things to like make it <laughs> French, you know? <laughs> le Goyf. That's when that's when you changed your last name, right? Yeah, it was just petite before, <laughs> and I was like, not not memeable enough. <laughs> Got to put a le in there. <laughs> so this dude's like mostly teeth and spikes. Oh, sure is. Like 99% teeth and spikes. Dentists I love him. Yeah. I think are you doing some lips here? Yeah, already? he's got he's got yeah. so much mouth that I feel like maybe just like accentuate the lips a little bit. Sure. I love so that. so much mouth, but this mouth in this original, not so kissable. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to be kissing that. You don't want to be kissing this. You could kiss one tooth. <laughs> you have to look at them and like ask yourself. Like, it, were I to engage in sexual congress with this creature, mm -hmm. th this would be bad <laughs> currently. If you look at it, it would not be good in any way to Too do spiky. that. Too spiky. So I think it needs more features that would be more pleasing to, to kiss and touch. Maybe it's spikes could turn into, like, feathers. That's a sexy texture. Ever oh, yeah. Oh, like true, a feather yeah. boa? To do, like, That's the bundles. sexiest piece of clothing. <laughs> yeah, tickles are not sexy. I hate getting tickled. You don't that's, like yeah. tickles. Mm -hmm. That's a no. That's not a no not fly even zone. like a fun, a fun, playful tickle. Absolutely mm -hmm. not. No. no, not a little teehee action. Too sensorily overloaded. Yeah, but I think if I was fucking something with feathers, that would be okay. Hey, Carolyn, would you say that we're trying to take these creatures from kill to fuck or marry? <laughs> say that <laughs> i would Whoa. absolutely say that <laughs> it's crazy that you said that julia because that's that's like really related to a show carolyn does <laughs> a show called fuck mary kill champions we have this week's episode is history night what do you guys think the most fuckable historical figure is i mean i don't know why i thought benjamin franklin first <laughs> He was known to be like quite a quite a lover. So he's like a little freak, right? Yeah, historical. Just from a historical standpoint, yeah. Queen Victoria got a lot of got a lot of kids. Notoriously, oh. notoriously loved to get down with Albert. Oh, really? That's yes. fun. Loved loved to get down with the I hubby. I did not know that. I just yes. finished the most recent season of The Crown last night, which talks about Queen Victoria a lot. So. 
Maybe they'll do a spin-off series about Victoria getting nasty. Yeah, all her favorite moves and positions. <laughs> it's all documented. It's going to go from FMK to uh, TMI. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice one. Nice. I did it. Speaking of nice, this Tarmogoyf's got a wonderful chin. Yeah, I just figured, you know, it, it doesn't look like it has much of a chin in this picture. So yeah. I, I thought a strong chin. It's got such a big mouth. Again, you want to accentuate that jaw a little yeah. bit. Yeah. You could stroke that jaw just like yeah. so, like, oh, yeah. lovingly. Yeah, the contours yeah. of Give the jaw. Give it a good caress. Yeah. And so we're thinking feathers instead of these spikes here could be like feathers. Maybe they're soft spikes. Yeah. Oh. They're just soft. Like a, like a koosh ball. Oh, wow. Yeah, when wow. I think <laughs> when I think romance, I think koosh balls. <laughs> I think it's time for koosh balls to come back, but for adults this time. Are they not like a thing anymore? Not for adults. When was the last time you saw a koosh ball? Now it's all fidget spinners for these kids these days. Yeah. And those pop pop things you know those big mats of like pop yeah. sheets bubble pops yeah like it's supposed to be one of those like uh packing bubble sheets bubble wrap yeah but forever <laughs> forever poppable <laughs> i mean that's pretty good i probably would have liked that as a kid or now yeah sometimes i walk through the toy aisle at target or wherever and i'm just like oh man i wish i was a kid i would love this like barbie dream house or whatever Man, I'm looking at koosh balls right now. Yeah? How much are they? Six ninety nine? Eight fifty nine. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most mundane. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to no, say I that. Would, I would have thought they would have been less expensive. Eight fifty nine. Okay, cool. Well, that's good. That's good to know for my holiday shopping. <laughs> I was just gonna say with the koosh ball. At lo you know, looking at it, I truly did just hold this thing and wiggle it back and forth as a kid. Yeah, that's how you play with it. Sometimes you throw it, but a lot of it is just you hold it and jiggle. You look at it and you're like, this isn't going to entertain me. A kid <laughs> looks at it and they're like, but wait a minute. It's got everything I need. <laughs> look at it jiggle. I think I remember being pretending to be like a mermaid and that that was like a sea urchin that I would Oh, have. yeah. Oh, yeah. A nice soft sea urchin. Nice soft sea urchin. I hadn't ever held a sea urchin at that point. Now as an adult. Of <laughs> worldly course worldly man that I am, I have yeah. indeed. Don't worry, everyone. I, I found an article from 2014 that says that uh, in freezing Winnipeg, climbable koosh balls keep you warm. Well, I don't know what that means. And it's just what? a picture of some kids sitting on a giant koosh ball. How does that keep them warm? No what? idea. Does it just keep them off the snow? I think that's just a chair. Yeah, it's like the same <laughs> as like a ladder or... <laughs> A stool, <laughs> a house, the floor. Yeah, anything. I don't. Um, it doesn't have to be a koosh ball. I don't think that article, a related article, <laughs> the headline is just <laughs> "Big Koosh Ball Cheap Online." <laughs> <laughs> okay, how much is the big one? Okay, yeah. let's, let's get our guesses in right now. <laughs> okay. okay, the regular size koosh ball was eight ninety five. Is what you said, Julie? Yeah, so. something like that. Okay. I think the big one's going to be 125. Okay, I guess it depends on how big and we don't really know. Well, big enough for a kid to sit on. I was going to guess like like maybe 39.99, but I'm <gasps> not I don't know how big I'm thinking. That's so cheap. That's a steal. I guess I don't know how big either, but um I'll go with 40. Just 40. Wow, even. 1 cent above me, huh? You piece of shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is right rolls, I guess. <laughs> Well, this website that I clicked that is now, I think, infecting my phone with every <laughs> virus known to humankind. Every listing for the Koosh Ball says something like Koosh Ball Large, Koosh Ball 11 centimeters, Sesame Street Koosh Ball, all these things. And then this one just says Giant Koosh Balls are warming spots. But what's the price? The price? $45.88. Oh my God. <laughs> Nathan. <laughs> You price is right at me. <laughs> price is right at you, dude. Why would you do that to me? To make a fool of you. And Carolyn went over. You busted, Carolyn. 45? Okay, but I am looking at this one that says, 
hot cell pupper pink big solid. <laughs> no, no, no. And the image is of a koosh ball. <laughs> big solid. <laughs> Excuse me, hot cell pupper big. Oh my god. It says pupper. It's a it's a tongue twister. Hot cell pupper <laughs> pink big solid hot no. cell pupper pink big solid i hate that hot cell pupper pink big solid hot cell weirdly pink, enough big almost solid. the same price as the other one warming spots koosh ball they are giving these things away they, they gotta are. know their koosh value i think we need to get some of these yeah we gotta get out on the koosh market like for the price carolyn said i could get three of these bad boys oh my god and, and then, then you could <laughs> And then what? <laughs> and then you'll never be cold again. Because <laughs> I guess they're warming spots <laughs> for some reason. Yeah, I'll have to read this article, I guess. <laughs> let us know if you're from Winnipeg and you've experienced the giant koosh balls. Let us know if they kept you warm in some way in the comments or if and you if interacted. And if so, how so? Yeah, and if so, how? Please explain the th sort of thermodynamic nature of them. In the comments, thank you. I do have bad news about the warming spots koosh balls. Okay. Oh, no. This article does refer to them as nuzzle huts. <laughs> <laughs> that's good news. Maybe that's where this Magic the Gathering creature hangs out. In the nuzzle hut. In the nuzzle, the hut. nuzzle hut. It does look like he's sort of coming in for a hug. In yeah. This picture. yeah. So I'm, I'm sort of leaning into that. Going to give you a little nuzz. I, I decided that instead of feathers or koosh ball material, since I don't feel like drawing a bunch of tiny little rubber hairs, which is uh, what, what uh -huh. I'm imagining, uh -huh. I went with sort of a flower petal motif. Yeah, instead. I like that. Beautiful. Yeah, I love it. Flowers are romantic. It's really giving me Beast from Beauty and the Beast vibes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah and he was a, a beautiful beast. Much hotter than when he turned back into a prince, oh, I say. Oh, my God. Oh, that guy. I feel like we've we've talked about that exact thing on Drawfee more than once now. Yeah, sure. Because everyone thing. agrees. Because it's a agrees. sticking point. Yeah, we're not the first people to come up with that observation, and we won't be the last. No. I want to see the the director's cut version of Beauty and the Beast where he like turns into a human and Belle's like, "Ooh, no thanks." <laughs> I actually was really into the whole beast thing. I I spent this whole time sort of getting into you your beast mode yeah it pans back to her and she's like she has her fingers in front of her mouth she's just like, <laughs> ah, this is really complicated now <laughs> like i thought i thought i'd be into you when once you became human but like now that you're human i'm like kind of not which implies like a lot of things about myself that i need to analyze she he shouldn't be surprised really she had like the hottest guy in town you know, all up on her all the time, and she was not interested. That's, That's true. clearly not about that. Yeah, but now that the beast is a human, like, and she knows she's into beasts, where is she going to find another beast? Like, I don't yeah. think, unless the witch has been doing this to, like, people all <laughs> across the countryside, like, beastifying them, I don't know where she's going to find another one. She might just be, like, out of luck. I think that's messed up, too, that she turned him into a monster because... First of all, she shouldn't have been asking for help. She's a powerful witch. You don't know this guy's backstory. Yeah. You just also show up child. in his house. Yeah, he was a, turn a child into a beast. And you didn't need to punish all the servants. That's really the most messed up part of the story. Yeah. Like the witch just showed up and did all this for literally no reason. She's just, She's just going mean. around doing this to people. Yeah. I mean, when you're a witch, do you need a reason? You know? You could be That's doing positive fair. things for people. Right. I don't know. That attitude sounds like you're about to get turned into a beast. I oh, hope God. I do. <laughs> Julia, how do you feel about that? I just, I was picturing <laughs> someone challenging her, like, listen, I know, I know you're a witch and this feels a little unfair. Like you're putting, you're putting the onerous on me and then she just, I think will be transforming people left and right, no matter what. I think she has to transform herself into a beast. Wow, wow, to learn why she's been so bad. Yeah. To teach herself a lesson. Walk a mile in the beast's hooves. And she's like, oh, 
These are actually way I can run way faster now. And I'm I have super strong. Knees. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's like I've so never been rules. hotter. <laughs> yeah, I'm so hot and strong. I've actually been giving people a gift. <laughs> this is not a punishment. <laughs> hey, Nathan. Yeah. This drawing, which I like very much, is giving me um Bell vibes. You mean the movie Bell? The movie Bell. The Japanese film. Which is just, again, a Beauty and the Beast story. So yeah. really, yeah. Oh. I guess we've keyed into something here. Yeah, I love it. I mean, that's sort of the, a lot of people's touchstone for a monster that's hot yeah. is Beauty and the Beast, I guess. So, sure. Yeah. So there, there you go. Do you think that's because the Beast is hot and we like, just look to that example when we need a hot beast or is that beast epitomizing what we see as hot do you know do you see that what i'm saying it's like a chicken or the egg situation it's like a chicken or the egg you know it it epitomized what the animators thought was hot and then it it shaped a generation's views on hot mm -hmm. beasts which you know what i'm going to do what they did in that movie because they, they combined like a bunch of, of animals to make the beast, but they uh -huh. gave him cow ears to sort of soften him up. Oh, oh. yeah. These sort of droopy oh. cow ears. Oh. Yeah, that's a good a good addition. I like I that. I guess we, we only see the one because his mouth is so big <laughs> that we can't see the other one. I guess we could sort of like hint at it over here. Yeah. Wow. He's sort of like a little droopy. Kind of looking like uh, Link from Legend of Zelda's little... Guess... Oh, yeah. They get yeah. front of the they ear sort of, They sort of go out. They go out a little bit more. I'm, uh, it's, it's more like this. Like, yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah, like that. Cute. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Definitely. I think I've spent enough time on this, and I'll, I'll render it. Maybe I'll get Karina to do my render. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to hear from Carolyn. Like, what's your what's your verdict? Like, did I do it? How hot is he? F FMK, Carolyn. This is extremely hot. Okay, I would totally smooch this. Now, I as a person have a kind of a yuck zone for plants growing out of animals. So uh, I'm going to detract points for the flowers on his elbows. But are those decorations or are those growing out of him? I need to know that. Well, the spikes seem to be growing out of him. But again, if they could be decorations, sure. Okay, if they're decorations, then I'll fuck this monster. Okay, <laughs> they're decorations. <laughs> Easy. Someone brings Carol in a bouquet of roses. Listen, I'm going to have to know if you're holding those or if those are part of your hands. This is crucial. <laughs> this is crucial. <laughs> Answer correctly. I appreciate also the chestular area and the nipple. I think oh, it's yeah. really nice. I think like that side pointing nipple is that's a hot nipple placement. <laughs> it belies a wide place. peck, you know? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. This, this is a wide friend for yeah. sure. I'd like to draw now, Nathan, if I may. Go for it. Now that I've seen what you've done, I must join you. The grossest monster is the abomination. The abomination. Oh, yeah. Oh this, this picture of abomination is so funny. He's just like <laughs> he's kind of an inside out guy. <laughs> he's just like a goopy <laughs> dude. He's he is missing some crucial, much like the last one, missing the lips. Yeah, yeah. That's visual shorthand for you should not kiss. Yeah, <laughs> wow. do, do not kiss. This picture looks like you have gone speed dating and you look to your right to like who's coming up next and <laughs> this guy's there and you're like, oh, <laughs> he looks like kind of a jacked up Elmer Fudd. Oh my God, you're totally right. So I feel like for the abomination here, yeah, yeah. since he's so truly nasty. Yeah. Yeah. I think like I'm going to go with the direction that like what's sexier than when you're like really feeling yourself. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know like like confidence is sexy. I like that. In my drawing I sort of focused on the the superficial aspects of hotness, but I hope that over the course of this episode we can really delve into what makes a monster hot? And I think it does have a lot to do with personality. For yeah, sure. I think so. I feel like all of these monsters, there's a chance someone's going to find them hot out the gate. Ooh. They're going to be like, change nothing. 
Far far be it for me to say that that flower petals are are more attractive than just a bunch of spikes, or that lips is is better than than no lips. You to know? each their own. Yeah. Someone who is allergic to flowers might be like, "I'll take the teeth, thank you." Right. Yeah, I'm totally. not allergic to teeth. Yeah. It, I don't know any <laughs> tooth allergies. That would be a horrible, horrible allergy. Yeah. Allergic to bones, your own bones. Oh. Sounds oh. like a Grey's Anatomy episode. Yeah, that would be like the the Doctor House thing, where it's like, <laughs> yeah. Illness. yeah, he's allergic to his own bones. <laughs> we replaced them with titanium, and now he's cured. And now he's Wolverine. House walks <laughs> in, lo- takes one look. Mm, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's allergic to his own bones. <laughs> like that's you not guys a are saying st- Doctor House. It's no, like, you're wait, all stupid wait for until not the knowing end of the episode. <laughs> The whole episode is all the doctors being like, that is an insane diagnosis. And then it being true in this one instance and them all being like, damn it, he's a genius. Damn it, House, you've done it again. every episode. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) The one like turn of the century oil baron who works at the hospital. (laughs) Damn it, House. (laughs) (laughs) You're going to ruin this hospital with your... (laughs) Wild ways. <laughs> now, this is definitely sexy. There is a lot of curves here. God, Jacob, these shapes are so good. He's like a goop, a little gooperoony over here. And so I'm thinking yeah. he could really get into some, like play into the goop so that it makes some curves, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Curve that goop. Hotness is all about how you sell the goop. At the end of the day, oh, is he doing a little look back over yeah, his well, shoulder? I think sorta? like a, yeah, oh. we're going to go with like a look in, <laughs> looking in this direction. Wow. Because yeah. the eyes, I, I really like his eyes because they're, it looks like he's stoned out of his freaking mind. <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely gotten so high that I've felt like this guy before. I mean, I think like we've, just all, melting. we've all been there, you know, and so <laughs> we've all gotten abomination high. <laughs> Abomination eye. <laughs> where you where you just become the abomination. <laughs> but it kind of gives him a look of like That was like a Deadpool. It was like Deadpool. And oh, then he's sort it. of got this this nose situation. This is what a situation he's got, you know? Yeah. 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 I mean he's so high, he's he's blending together. <laughs> he's so high you turn inside out. Yeah. We've all we've all done it. Yeah, I've been there. One of the most high times I've ever been was when I Do you guys know what a volcano vape is? I do yes. know what a volcano vape is. No. I've never done a drug. I just just from j- just from my research, my uh, edification. <laughs> sure. Research. Sure. You read some papers. I read some scientific <laughs> some papers, pa- papers on the volcano vape. scientific journals. <laughs> Please explain Go on. for me. Yeah. The the unresearched it's this very expensive vaporizer where you put weed in the bottom and it like vaporizes it, takes all the THC out and kind of distills it. And then it fills up this bag, this plastic bag. So you've got this like balloon filled with smoke and the balloon has a like a nozzle on it and then you suck it in. You take the balloon off and then you inhale the smoke. And this was when I was pretty new to smoking weed. And I got so high and then my friends were driving me around and I was in the back and they were in the front and I kept asking them if I had peed my pants because I genuinely (laughs) thought, I just kept checking. I was like, guys, I just peed my pants. I'm so sorry. And they were like, Carolyn, you didn't. (laughs) You didn't didn't pee your pants. I just, that's, I was so high that I thought I was peeing my pants. Wow. That's, I've actually had that feeling before too. Like really? in the earliest times I ever uh, researched on what it was like to do. <laughs> yeah, just reading about it. I was like, wow, did I pee my pants? <laughs> <laughs> but I remember like situations where I was like, am I going to pee my pants? And I'm like, I feel like if I did, like there's nothing I could do to stop it. <laughs> if it was going to happen right now, like what would I do? But luckily that muscle memory is in there and it's yeah, really got to really pull the trigger. Yeah. Well, now I'm picturing this guy going, hey, kid, did I pee my pants? <laughs> Trick question. I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> and I don't have a bladder. <laughs> I'm just goop. Just a goopy fella. 
You thought these were pants? It's just goop. It's all just flesh goop. I'm looking at the card description for Abomination. Or uh-huh. like, not the description, but you know, what it do. The ability text. What it do. What it do. <laughs> what that abomination do. All green or white creatures blocking or blocked by abomination or destroyed at the end of combat is yeah is very funny. He, he's just like, he's so high that he just destroys <laughs> you. You can't do anything to counter yeah. him. If Tarmogoyf tried to block abomination, it would get destroyed. Wow. That's messed up. That's pretty up. good. And it's got two six, uh, two power and six toughness, which is pretty pretty interesting stats for a magic card. Yeah, you don't see a lot of two sixes. Not enough. Where's all the two sixes at? A two six for five with a cool ability? I don't yeah. know. I'm I'm still very new to magic, and so I feel like any thoughts I have on like power level of cards is just based on what cards the small group of friends that I play with have. <laughs> I think that's how a lot of magic is. It's so about who you're playing with. Oh wow, I really like how the texture this goop is taking on. Yeah, yeah. Because I was looking at him again. He's like he's like really lumpy. He's sort of like a big brain. Yeah, he's a lumpy guy. This is kind of giving me like Renaissance sculpture sketch. Oh, like you look at like yeah. Michelangelo's sketchbook and like this is what he's sketching before he, he chisels this from the marble. Yeah, this is on, I'd say, the same sort of level as Michelangelo's <laughs> sketches. <laughs> yeah. I would say so too. It's just sort of the, the line quality. It's You've got this nice looseness to it, this loose shapiness. Vitruvian goop. <laughs> And then I think we're just going to like add the in. The Goopfian man. The Goopfian man. He's sort of in like a goop. Yeah, he looks like he's in a womb or something here. Yeah. You know, I'm about to use a term that is often used uh, in art, in the art <laughs> circles. Uh-huh. But I think it's never been more applicable than here where you can describe him as Rubenesque. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, very yeah. Rubenesque. I was, very I was Rubenesque. gonna say that. <laughs> oh. Add some like, good. you know, foreground elements yeah, here. Yeah, nice composition here. Just giving myself some hints for when I render this later as to what <laughs> I was thinking. <laughs> we've sort of got, you know, the Koosh ball was, was for mine and now we've got sort of more of a, like a gack sort of vibe here. Mm. Yeah, he is so he's a little gacky. We're sticking 90s with that. 90s textures. 90s textures. 90s was a very textural decade, I feel it like. It sure was, mm. yeah. Wow, yeah. Well, beautiful job, Jacob. Yeah, I'm done. I, I just got to get Carolyn's opinion. Like, does the confidence of the abomination and how incredibly stoned he is <laughs> <laughs> like sway you one way or another in terms of, you know, the, the FMK value? I think you've made him hot in a way that his confidence and hotness makes other people feel hotter when they're around him. That's you know beautiful. what I mean? Yeah. Like there's two there's some hot people like make you feel bad about yourself and some people are so hot that they make you feel hotter by like by proxy. Sure. And I think this guy is like he's not only going to make you attracted to him, he's going to make you feel more confident in yourself and that's the hottest of all. That's wow. beautiful. that's beautiful. A+. Plus. Beautiful. Good job, Abomination. I feel a little hotter now, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we all do. Well, it's time for me. Yeah. All right, Julia, get in. Now, Julia, this is, in my opinion, the most horrible monster in all of Magic the Gathering. Its name is the Revelark. Ooh. And it's just a bunch of eggs surrounded by a bunch of wings. I don't know how you're going to make that hot. It's like a it's also got. It's, like, <laughs> it's basically a chick. You've described a chicken, a bunch of eggs, and some. Wings. No, it's got it's got like plants also growing around the eggs, which is so horrible. So it's 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 a nasty creature. It's supposed wow. to be like a good elemental creature, but I think it's fucking disgusting. It's another creature that would be destroyed if it were blocked or tried to block. Yes, the abomination. Wow, true. You know, you just can't dull the abomination shine. Yeah. <laughs> just let the abomination through. Don't try to block it. Don't let it block you. Yeah. Just let it be high. Let it in. <laughs> let it in. Let it out. <laughs> abomination is love. Abomination is life. I'm so glad you gave Julia egg to draw. 
Julia loves egg. I don't know if you know this about her. Yeah, I Carolyn. love egg. You love egg? Drawing egg or just... Everything about egg. Okay. Egg underappreciated. Sure. The humble egg, as I love to call it, and no one else. <laughs> the humble egg. What's the weirdest kind of egg you've ever eaten? Oh. Oh, I got an answer for that one. Oh, my, yeah. My friend brought over one time the um the balut, like the fertilized duck egg. Oh. Uh, where there's like a duck fetus in it. Whoa. And you eat it. You eat us the fetus. It was Whoa. definitely the most messed up thing I've ever consumed. Sure. But I was like, you know, I'm a pretty adventurous eater. So if you give it to me, I'll try it. How was it? It was pretty good, actually. Like, taste-wise, if you ignore everything else. Was it crunchy? No, not really. It kind of tasted like a meatier egg. Oh. But then, uh, you know, sort of the the rest of the experience of eating it, I don't think I would want to do again. <laughs> <laughs> sort of the visuals and you know the whole right. concept i'm very unpleasant sure yeah. anyway that's my weirdest egg i don't i don't have a weirder egg than that i'm sorry i also don't have a weirder egg than that yeah you win jacob i'm a very normal egg eater <laughs> over here you ever have a quail egg yeah i like a quail egg a little sunny like side quail, quail egg. egg that's a fun just little little finisher <laughs> it makes you feel fancy yeah it makes you feel egg. big it does make you feel, it makes you feel like a fancy giant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carolyn, have you had any any weird egg? I'm trying to think now. Usually when you ask a question, it's because you have an answer, but yeah. I don't, I didn't do that this time. I don't have one. Well, my challenge to all of you is to, <laughs> before we record again, go eat the weirdest egg you can find. <laughs> the, the Jacob weird egg challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I recently have been eating some smoked worm salt that I got in Mexico. Now, what the hell? That sounds like a, a magic. <laughs> what is that? Ingredient. It's with the agave, you know, the worms that are like the in tequila, a tequila worms? bottle. Yeah, it's like oh. those, the agave worms that live on the agave plants. And they ground them up and smoke them and then put them with salt. And it is delicious. Cool. It's so good. That, I've never heard of that. I really want to try that. Come on over. Fly to LA, get in a plane or a helicopter. I'm going to do that. A helicopter would probably a take a while. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> get on a plane, come to LA, and we'll have some salt together. And then you can go home. That sounds like a really good use of my time, I think. <laughs> now, Julia, you've given this something that is crucial to be hot. You've given this a face. Yeah. And clothes. A little a little bit of a face. Yeah, the wings become collar. Yeah. And eyebrow. You fashioned him up. Yeah. Which I, I, I yeah. neither of us really really delved into the fashion aspect of, of hotness, which is like part of that is just like knowing how to dress yourself, you know? Both of your characters were naked. Yeah. yeah. What's more fashionable than the confidence in your own skin? Wow. Wow. That's why every job interview, I go naked. And yeah. That's what I say. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then you've gotten every job. <laughs> yep. Every that's, job. That's how you got the hosting job for Fuck, Mary Kill Champions, right? Exactly. You showed up naked. You're like, that's the confidence we need. This is the host right here. <laughs> this is our host. Cancel all the other interviews. <laughs> I feel like, first of all, we got to get like more egg. More egg. Like, oh, egg buttons? Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, yeah, right. oh like a cape, like a shoulder cape thing. Yeah. Maybe some egg palettes. Oh, oh. oh. you like that, don't you? My huh? favorite French actor, Egg Palette. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is right now. If you turn Doctor Strange into an egg. <laughs> oh yeah, Doctor Egg Strange. Doctor yeah. Eggman. Dr. Streg. Boo. <laughs> no, it's good, actually. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. You Yay. were mistaken. <laughs> oh, sorry. Dr. Strange <laughs> is a crucial part of my Marvel Snap strategy. Oh, you got a move oh. deck? Yeah, I got the move deck. Not, We're not going to talk about Marvel Snap because no one knows what we're talking about. But I will say <laughs> that I, I lose to move decks, I feel like, an absurd portion of the time that I face them. It's a good deck. 
but just because I don't know. You don't know where they're going to be. I mind game myself. I'm like, are they going to play the Heimdall or are they not going to play the Heimdall? Mm-hmm. So which which location is going to get beefy? And I don't. And then they do or don't. It's like a coin flip. Right. You thought you were going to get some magic talk on this episode, but we're talking about a different card game, baby. Yeah. Card <laughs> games are fun. I just like to play a card game with my friends or strangers on the internet. Yeah. Both. I agree with Nathan. They've like they've they've really <laughs> made you. it. They've really designed it so it feels like a Vegas slot machine. Like I get it. I never got slot machines until I played Marvel Snap and I was like, oh, I get it now. <laughs> you just keep on pulling that lever. It's exactly a slot machine for freaking nerds. <laughs> <laughs> like us. <laughs> like us. Last time I was in Vegas, I saw a Dune slot machine, and that was pretty fun. Ooh. I, I, I fed that one a dollar. Did, what did you win? No. Oh, okay. Every time I that's what, I don't understand slot machines because it's over too quick. Wouldn't that have been crazy though if you did win? That would have been crazy if I did win. Yeah. Julia, are the eyes birds? Yeah. Oh my God! What? Oh, oh the eyes no! Are the birds peeking out of the eggs. Oh! Oh that's my God! So cool. Oh my god, I love this. How how would you even think of this? This one would be popular on Tumblr. <laughs> like people would get really into this character on Tumblr. Yeah. Bird eyes? Yeah. How did you even think of this, Julia? Your brain? How'd you even Well, I was thinking, how would eyes work on egg? <laughs> See, this is <laughs> this is why you have to give egg to Julia, because Julia's thinking about egg constantly. I'm always thinking about <laughs> egg. <laughs> Wow. Oh my God. The little cracks as the yeah. crow's feet. I love it. Crow's feet. Very appropriate here. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking that it would be little cracks in the egg. Oh, I dearly love it. I don't know if this is hot because that's honestly some of the scariest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> thinking about eyes as birds, but that it's got, it's scary can be hot. Yeah. Sometimes something's so hot that it scares you and sometimes wow. something's so scary that it that it turns you on a little bit. Yeah. And this is <laughs> like this is hitting that like the Baba Duke. <laughs> like the Baba Duke. <laughs> Just like the Baba Duke. Basically. Oh, it's yeah. It's got a little Oh my god. Oh I mustache. gotta bring that grass back. That Dr. Streg look. Oh yeah. Now I like that this character is the egg head shape is very round and looks y- quite youthful, but this Mustache is a elderly mustache, and I like that, and I yeah. appreciate it. We're sort of dealing with with duality, with contrast, because the egg wow. is oftentimes a, a symbol of of youth and and renewal. And then, sure. But what if he was also just kind of like an old guy with a beard? Oh my god! <laughs> it's a thinker. Bird, this one with birds coming out of his eyes. <laughs> this one, you'll be thinking about this one. This one. This one's making me scared. It's making me think and. Yeah, it's getting me a little, you know. A little torqued. <laughs> a little torqued. <laughs> got a big potato nose. <laughs> I want it to be like, <laughs> just like taped, taped on. on. <laughs> a little bit of comedy. Not I didn't, you know, I based on the facial expression, I didn't think he'd have a good sense of humor, oh, wait, but yeah. he's just very, very deadpan. He's like, <laughs> you're, like you're like my nose. It's not really my Do nose. Do you guys want to start a animated show that is starring this character? Yes. Yeah, I think, I think yeah, so. Yeah, I think I do. Because I've never loved anything more than this guy. Good. I feel oh, like he would, he would put the nose on when he's about to tell a joke. Yeah. Like when he's trying to be funny and less intimidating, he puts the nose on and then he takes it off when he's trying to be serious. It's called Having a Lark with Revelark. Nice. Oh my God. He like comes home and his his boyfriend's like, hey, we need to talk. And then he like takes off the nose because he knows it's getting <laughs> serious. It's like, oh, I was going to tell a joke. It's like in Forgetting Sarah Marshall when... That Jason guy is naked. And he, he does the, the wiener slap dance. Yeah. And, and then, she's like, yeah. we need to talk. Yeah. This is his wiener slap dance is putting the nose <laughs> it's on. It's just putting just yeah. very, very 
quietly. <laughs> single s- slab of tape. Just I imagine that the mouth is drawn on with like a dry erase marker. So oh, when good. he has to be serious, he just like erases it, puts like a little Heck. frown. I can't, I can't, can't, can't take you seriously when you look like that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and his Go voice ahead. would be in your head only, like one of those voices that you can't hear, but it just yeah. appears in your mind. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think this is I think this is him. I really oh like this guy. I love it. You've given him such a kind face, too. Oh like when you just sort of take the whole thing in, you forget that the eyes are birds. <laughs> <laughs> and, you're, and you're just like, oh, what a what a friendly old man. What's ha- what is happening? Ah! <laughs> it's just so much any everywhere your eye moves is just a moment of pure delight. Like yeah. the the hair is so wonderful, the eye cracks and then you're like, "Oh my god, his eyes are birds." The nose detail, it's just it's perfection. It's beautiful. Thank I, you. I think we did it. I think we hot it up these monsters pretty good and in different ways too they each yeah. have their own hotness mm. if there's one thing you take away from this episode is that there's no one way to be hot yeah make your own hotness make your own hotness and hey if none of these monsters did it for you uh that's okay you can you can make your own be the hotness you want to see in the world yeah yeah well this was wonderful carolyn thank you so much for coming on to the show and letting us draw these hot new people thanks for having me you guys i had a problem i came to the right place and you really solved it we're all about solving problems here on trophy yeah in 2023 we're we're solving everything we're gonna fix it (laughs) we're gonna fix it all that's a new year's resolution (laughs) everyone we're gonna fix it (laughs) we're gonna fix it don't worry we are on the case we're gonna (laughs) solve every problem one hot monster at a time yeah Carolyn, where can the people find you? Oh my gosh. Well, as you graciously mentioned, every Wednesday I have a show called Fuck, Mary Kill Champions. It's on the You Jokes YouTube channel. We've been on that show. You've been on that show. It's a great time. I won one time, I think, maybe. Hell yeah, you did. And I won one time. Oh. The only time I was on. Sounds like Julia has got to come on and win sometime. That's true. And um, you can also catch me streaming on Twitch on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Twitch.tv slash jacuzzi tubs with two Bs. Come play video games with me. It's a good time. Yeah. Hell yeah. Do it. Go follow that Twitch account now. Yeah. Hey, while you're on Twitch, uh, we we also stream on there. Monday is 7 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, if you like what we do here on the Drawfee channel, you know you know we're going to say it. You can subscribe. You can like. You can even leave a comment. And you can go to our Patreon to support us directly. Got some good rewards there. You can check them out. And we got a merch store. So you can get all those clothes to cover up your goop. (laughs) We're sorry. 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 Sorry.